Hello, my name is Josh Smokovitz, and I would like to welcome you to Zeiss Metrology Academy. In this tutorial, we will introduce the user field's initialization file and how to create custom header variables. The following topics will be covered. Creating the user field's data, creating new header variables with selective lists and manual entry, additional functions for header variables, activating newly created variables in Calypso, and adding new header variables to the Calypso printout. At the end of this session, you'll be able to effectively add new header variables to the Calypso printout. With the help of the initialization file in Calypso, you have the possibility to change or improve your report header. You can create your own header variables that can, for example, be defined as pull-down menus or editable input fields. Inside the PropForm folder, you will find an example of the user fields.ini file. By default, this file is not active because the name of the file begins with zzz underscore. To activate the file, you can simply copy the file and then rename it to userfields.ini. Inside the original userfields.ini file, you will find five examples for new header variables, which can be used to create your own header variables. To make programming your first userfields.ini file easier, it makes sense to open the original mass file and the renamed active file side by side. To start, first delete the content of the userfields.ini file to create your report header variables. Ensure that the term field names, like shown here, is present. By typing the text rem at the beginning of a line, you can add comments to the file. The first example of a new variable is processing machine, which will be used to specify which machine was used to create the part. Declare the variable u underscore processing machine, which makes it available for definition and later use in Calypso. The new report header variable is similar to field 3 from the example file, so for simplicity, you can simply copy field 3 from the example file. This copied group is one section, which is denoted by square brackets as shown in this example. One section contains one or more properties. Every property has a name and a value, separated by an equal sign. Comments can also be added at the end of a line by using a semicolon. Now, copy the processing machine variable name and paste it to replace the field 3 name. The first property, name, describes the displayed name of the variable in Calypso. In this example, processing machine. If necessary, notes can be added via a comment. The properties edit mode and run mode define for legacy printouts where the operator actually enters or selects the variable. Activate or deactivate the edit mode and run mode via the value true or false. Edit mode true defines that the input can be entered in the menu resources printout header parameters. This is recommended for variables which do not change on each CNC start, for example, the drawing number. And for the variables with run mode set to true, values will be entered at the CNC start. With the variable processing machine, we want to have the possibility to select the machines in a list or a pull-down menu. For this reason, we set the value for the parameter name selective list to true. And now we will again copy the variable name, then paste it in the value for the parameter name selective list values in order to declare the name of the list which we will later define. 
When the parameter name editable is set to true, the user can manually edit the value in addition to selecting it from a list. In the case that this is not wanted, this value should be set to false. To create the value list for the variable processing machine, again copy and paste the value list of field 3 from the example file. This group is a new section which defines the content of the value list. Copy and paste the name of the value list from the variable processing machine to the section. The single machines can now be created or edited. In this example, six machines were created. For the property name default value, the value no will be assigned. When the value is set to no, it means that the variable processing machine will be empty at the beginning of a measurement plan run. The values to the right of the equal sign will be the values displayed in Calypso, for example, inside the header or in the CNC start window. The names to the left of the equal sign will be the values written to table files or sent to other systems, for example, CAQ, PyWeb, or Excel. If you want to display the same names in Calypso that are written to the table files, both the name and value, or text on either side of the equal sign, should be the same. Let's add a second report header variable into the user fields file. Declare the variable u underscore drawing index, which signifies the drawing revision, in the file. Again, you can copy and paste from the example file to edit the section drawing index, or you can create it manually. Define the name with the variable name drawing index. In order to enter the drawing index at the CNC start window, we set the edit mode to false and the run mode to true. There is no need for a value list, so we can simply leave it out. Next, set the parameter name editable to true to later enter a value. Again, the default value will be empty. Now it can be easily seen that our newly created declared variables belong to the section field names. For a better overview, you can separate the sections with helping lines that make it easier to edit or expand the user field file at a later time. When finished, save the file. We can add additional functionality to the sections of the report header variables with additional parameters. With the parameter name type, you have the possibility to set the variable to an alphanumeric value, as floating point number, or as an integer. With the parameter name max length, you can define the maximum permissible length of a character string. And with maximum value or minimum value, the maximum or minimum permissible value for a numeric parameter can be defined. Additionally, you can define characters that are not allowed. Let's modify the variable drawing index. Insert the parameter name type and define it as an alphanumeric value. We will also set the maximum length of a character string to 5 characters. Finally, save the user fields file. If the maximum length of the drawing index is exceeded, the operator will be informed. When working inside the inspection plan with the multiple printout function active, in this example, PyWeb reporting, the header variables for input must be selected. You must define if the input of the variables should be entered in the measurement plan itself, via the resources printout header parameter, or if the variables should be entered at the CNC start. In this example, the processing machine and the drawing index are defined as CNC start parameters.
When a run is started, the operator can select the processing machine and edit a drawing index. Let's insert the new variables into the header of a PyWeb reporting template. First, create a new text element and label it Drawing Index. Create a second text element by simply copying and pasting the newly created element and position it accordingly. Right click on the element and navigate to the variable section of the menu. Then, choose the option Select Variable. Pay attention that the correct text element is selected for editing, not that you edit the incorrect text element. Navigate to Data Provider and activate the Property radio button. Now, assign U underscore drawing index in quotations as the value and confirm the selection with the OK button. For this text element, activate a data binding to the measurement plan and confirm the information regarding the poor performance with yes. For the header variable process machine, proceed in the same way and save any changes. Finally, after a measurement run, you can open the report via the View menu.